Moving on. Mary Pinchot Meyer, JFK mistress, assassinated by CIA, new book saves. This is out of the Huffington Post. Conspiracy theories who question President John F. Kennedy's assassination in 1963 have over the years become obsessed with another murder. On October 12, 1964, socialite and artist Mary Pinchot Meyer, a longtime Kennedy mistress, was shot execution style in broad daylight while walking along the Georgetown Canal towpath. Within hours, police charged day laborer Ray Crump Jr. with murder. They never found the gun, however, and a jury acquitted Crump after an eyewitness described the killer as much bigger than, than the diminutive defendant. In the ensuing years, the case has become one of Washington's most infamous unresolved murder cases. And there's a new book coming out about this. Obviously, no time to delve into such a gargantuan subject now. But, um, Jim Mars, in his book, actually lists over 100 people who died in mysterious circumstances, mainly accidents or suicides, uh, who were eyewitnesses to the JFK assassination. Um, earlier this month, we had the Secret Service agent come out and said that uh, Jackie Kennedy's last words were, quote, Oh, Jack, what have they done? Obviously, the word they being suggestive of a wider plot. Uh, you know, in the past, we've had Madeleine Duncan Brown, LBJ's mistress, uh, who gave an interview saying basically LBJ conspired the night before to have JFK killed. The quote, according to her, those SOBs will never embarrass me again. That's what LBJ said about the Kennedys the night before the assassination. Uh, Again, just a baseless conspiracy theory, as much of the JFK material is still treated by the establishment. Um, Bar McClellan, the, the father of the former White House press secretary, he came out and said that it was an LBJ plot. Uh, of course, E. Howard Hunt, uh, who came on, uh, we had his son come on with the revelations on the Alex Jones show a few years ago about uh, how he was a bench warmer in the plot to kill JFK, and he also implicated LBJ in the plot. Then, of course, we got the famous wink from Congressman Albert Thomas that he gave to LBJ as Johnson was being sworn in as, you know, JFK's replacement when he became president after his death. So the evidence is overwhelming. It would take a 2,000-word book to, out, to lay it out, but obviously um, the polls show the vast majority of Americans disbelieve the official conspiracy theory about JFK uh, but the establishment still uses this uh, grassy knoll cliche uh, to debunk anyone who attempts to challenge the establishment orthodoxy on any modern event. So, new book coming out with new revelations about JFK, so we'll await that one. Final story tonight on InfoWars Nightly News, Roundup herbicide linked to Parkinson's related brain damage from uh, greenmedinfo.com. Alarming new research published in the journal Neurotoxicology and Teratology supports the emerging connection between glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup herbicide, and neurodegenerative conditions such as Parkinson's disease and Parkinsonian disorders. And basically, this article lists different modes of toxicity that this Monsanto-produced herbicide, Roundup, has been linked with. Um, and of course, this is the product that was previously labeled by, by Monsanto, safe as table salt. So you can sprinkle it on your chips and eat it. It's that safe. But of course, the studies have shown that it's the primary cause of colony collapse disorder, this mass die-off of bees, uh, as well as the die-offs of other insects, including butterflies. So, you know, we know that Monsanto recently bought out one of the companies responsible for researching colony collapse disorder that's right they actually bought the group that was studying why the bees were dying <laughs> it's i mean why doesn't monsanto just buy up all the organizations that are looking into the causes of parkinson's disease it's like some kind of bizarre borg assimilation process you know you, you have an organization that links monsanto with uh, mass die-offs of bees, neurological disorders, and Monsanto just says, right, we're just going to buy up the company and bury the data. You will be assimilated into the Monsanto Borg. Unfortunately for, unfortunately for them, though, um, they can't assimilate the thousands of activists committed 
uh, campaigners who have successfully evicted Monsanto out of several uh, European and South American countries. So while Monsanto will continue uh, to try and buy up anyone who points out that they're responsible for killing off bees, butterflies, and innumerable other insects, as well as links to neurological uh, diseases such as Parkinson's, uh, the war against their deadly GMO poison continues. And if you're looking to find out more information on Monsanto's war on the environment and family farms, I encourage you to check out the documentary uh, Farmageddon, The Unseen War on American Family Farms, which is available at the InfoWars store today. Check it out. Get your 15-day free trial at prisonplanet.tv. Of course, you may be watching this on YouTube, but it's streamed first exclusively at prisonplanet.tv. Uh, along with all the InfoWars nightly news archives, Alex Jones show archives, special speeches, interviews, just a ton of multimedia content. And it, of course, supports what we're doing. We wouldn't be able to do this without your support. So please subscribe at prisonplanet.tv. Coming up after the break, Rob Dew sits down for an interview with uh, Stuart Rhodes to talk about the uh, widening resistance against the National Defense Authorization Act with uh, anti-NDAA resolutions in Virginia and Arizona. So stay tuned for that interview. <laughs> 